making a Stuart model steam plant part 81. I am now approaching completion of the steam plant by mounting the components, but the worst job is yet to come, cleaning the piping after removing it from my acid bath. The events in this episode taught me something that I didn't know. Originally I put all the piping tied together with a piece of silicone rubber tubing into the acid bath and then after a few days I removed the piping, thoroughly washed off all the acid, then I got on with some other jobs so the pipes were left in the outer part of the workshop for a couple of months. More about that shortly, what I'm doing at the moment is bolting components onto the baseboard, namely the Stuart 10 v the Stuart S50, the condenser which doubles as a water preheater and the water tank itself. First the Stuart 10 v when I first positioned this on the baseboard, quite a while ago in an earlier episode, it wasn't in line, but now it is. I still intend to use the flexible pipe between the engine and the condenser. That's because I don't think it's a good idea to rigidly mount them, owing to contraction and expansion, the engine could be put under pressure. I don't want to put a pipe loop in the circuit because it would look ridiculous. I really think that this short silicone rubber tube will do the trick. Now I'm having a think about how to mount the components onto the baseboard. Using a slotted, cheesehead type, 4BA machine screw did not look good. Instead, I decided to use these. 4BA brass hexagon bolts with brass washers. And I wanted to use the same method for mounting the Stuart 10V onto the plinth. But the brass hexagon bolts that I have are too short. These steel ones are an inch long and they hold the engine firmly to the plinth. The problem is, they don't look good, and they will of course go rusty, I would have to paint them, and I don't really want to do that. I found these two socket headed screwdrivers very useful for this job, and the one on the left is a barco. The one on the right is rusty because I've had it for many years. I'd like to show you this, I ran into a problem. This is the Stuart S50, and there isn't much room on the mounting lugs for hexagon bolts. I did try some hexagon bolts using a spanner to tighten them, but they didn't look good. The three mounting lugs on the S50 steam engine were actually countersunk to use countersunk slot headed screws, but I don't want to use those either. This is a good solution 4BA Allen cap head bolts. They don't stand out, they just blend into the background, which is always a good thing. I've just been speaking on the phone to Jackie at Blackgates Engineering and ordered some 1 inch long 4BA Allen cap head bolts. I've also bought some thin super glue to run into the bolt holes to strengthen the threads that are cut into the wood. Threading wood and using long bolts is a good idea and I need to stress to the customer who's obviously watching this in the USA that it is essential that none of the bolts that are screwed into the wood are over tightened. Now's the bit I'm not looking forward to, and I do have a bit of a problem. You live and learn in this job. As I mentioned earlier, these were in the acid bath for a couple of days and came out quite clean. I got rid of all the acid from the components using a hose pipe. But then I left the piping in the outer part of the workshop for a couple of months, and something has happened. The copper piping has oxidised slightly, but the brass union nuts are a bit of a mess, they look like the de zincifying Some of these pipes are single-ended, so I can just replace the union nuts, but on some of this piping I'm going to remove the coned unions on one end, fit new union nuts at each end, and then silver solder a new union cone in place. What I'm going to do first though is clean up the copper piping, this shouldn't be difficult. Although I won't be using Brasso until the end of the process, I'm going to use my polishing spindle. Here it is. I switched on the polishing spindle and applied some abrasive soap. Then it's just a case of holding the component against the polishing spindle to remove any oxidisation and make the parts shine. This is the connection from the condenser to the chimney. It's looking OK, but it needs the treatment of Brasso to finish it off. This is one of the steam pipes getting the same treatment. These parts get hot when you do this, so why aren't I wearing gloves? Well, I have a thing about gloves. I don't want to wear gloves in the workshop. Next to the polish and spindle, I have a pot of water, and periodically I drop the parts into the water to cool them down. 
This is the connection from the hand pump to the check valve. And as you can see, I'm using Brasso wadding. The polishing spindle wouldn't allow me to clean inside the loop, so I do it this way. It's just a piece of cotton cloth clamped in the vise. I started the job off using Brasso wadding, and I'm finishing it like this. This clip shows me fitting the part to the boiler and the water pump, and as you can see, the inside of the loop at the bottom is quite shiny. Because I moved the position of the Stuart Double Ten, the steam pipe is a bit too long now, so I've marked it with a felt tip pen. I'm going to cut it here and solder on a new union cone after fitting two brand new union nuts. There's a bit of a problem with this adapter that was fitted to the engine. It's a quarter of an inch by 32 threads per inch union adapter, but the outermost part of this fitting is designed to use an olive, and I generally use union cones. I need to make a quarter by 32 threads per inch to quarter by 40 threads per inch adapter, and the quarter by 40 end of the adapter needs to be coned to accept a coned union. This, I think, is a PM Research fitting, and I don't use those very much because the fittings don't always fit with the parts that I normally use. And when I think about it, I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to make a new pipe to fit on the union adapter that I'm going to make. I think I'll do the rest of the polishing and pipe modifications off camera. Then at least it will only be me who slips into a coma. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.